You was going through the main streets of Compton and shit, shooting gloves in. You copied this shit. That's where you was Compton. Shoot, who? Compton. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was some main streets, but it wasn't Compton. <laughs> we trying to sell records. Yeah, we trying to sell records. We try to sell records. <laughs> but yeah, man. Ain't that what Pac told Big to get the Source Awards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening, though, man? You want to tell people a little bit about yourself, man? Man, uh. First off, uh. Everybody call me Jabari, man. That's that's my middle name, you know what I mean? That's what my mama called me, you know what I mean? Some people call me by my first name. We ain't gonna get all into that, but you know what I mean? My family called me Jabari, man. My artist's name is Pac. The name came from, uh, my homeboys called me Pakistan, you know what I mean? That's what they called me, you know what I mean? I don't, I, I couldn't, to this day, I couldn't tell you why, oh, but uh, they, they started off calling me Pakistan, and you know what I mean? I roll with that, man, because I like, I like the sound of it, and, you know what I mean? It, it was what it was, you know what I mean? Pakistan is like shit. Well, oh, hey, we know what Pakistan war, is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was war time, you know what I mean? It's like whatever, however you want to take it, that's what it was. It was a it was a big word to me at the time, you know what I mean? And I rolled with that. I mean, I loved it. I, I, I liked how it rolled off my fucking tongue. So, you know what I mean? I rolled with it, and uh, I just shortened it. Okay. You know what I mean? Along the way, and just, just changed it to pack, you know what I mean? So, I don't want nobody to think that I'm trying to... Tupac or Tupac, none of that shit. Tupac. And that ain't come with none of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. White people still call it Tupac. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Even though that's 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 one of my top artists in the game, you know what I mean? Just just because of the work that he put out, you know what I mean? But it definitely didn't come from that. It just came from my homeboys calling me Pakistan in high school, you know what I mean? And them, them my homies, you know what I mean? So shit like that stick with you, you know what I mean? Do you remember who exactly gave you that name? It probably was my homie Carlo, man. My homie Carlo, man. Shout out, shout shout out to Carlo. Shout out to Carlo. Shout out to Carlo. You know, Corey, he deleted me on Facebook. I ain't know all that. Damn. <laughs> 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 well, I, I ain't it's know all that, but uh, hopefully we don't got to go into detail about that situation, you know what I mean? Because I, hey, I don't like to play middleman or nothing. All the time I play the middleman is when I'm a media. Maybe you got kicked off Facebook yesterday. Is he the reason? No, I don't know. Yeah, only, only time I play the middleman is when I'm the mediator, man. Cause I don't I, like, yeah. I don't, oh, no, no, I don't no, like no. my homies bumping heads at all. No, he ain't bumping heads. He, he just got mad. You know how I got a tendency to get. Under, he told me. He told me I got a tendency to get under <laughs> nigga's skin. Yeah, you do. You yeah. know what I mean? But that's you know what I mean. That's, that's human nature, man. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Corey. I still love you. <laughs> you still my nigga since we was five. <laughs> he, deleted life, on Facebook. he deleted me on Facebook. But Facebook, he can't take that kind of shit personal. Somebody deletes you, you can't. But 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 in my defense, if you ever delete me on Facebook and it's not pertaining to him, this is the people in general. Delete me off Instagram. Delete me off Twitter. Yeah. Delete me off everything. <laughs> First off, fuck you. We don't have no stick. We don't have just talks in real life. I don't care if you kiss my ass from here across the street. Puffy, when I see you, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Don't be trying to miss Tupac kissing up shit. If you don't put Tupac in your top three, you can't. He still. He's still one of my favorite rappers. I just got other rappers ahead of him for no reason. But no yeah, reason. man, uh, I, I, I can vouch for you, man. I've been spitting. You yeah. and uh, Tyron, a.k.a. Elliot Tang. He was up here mm -hmm. about a month ago. This is Brothers, just in just case you didn't know. Ah, okay. Brothers. Yeah. Uh, just in case you didn't know. I didn't want to say your favorite. You know, <laughs> everything y'all niggas looking like. Yeah. So like, yeah. Kind of but I, I've been around them and, and them doing this music forever. I remember. Uh, in high school, <laughs> when, like you said, they stand in a little circle and shit. Everybody, RTP, mm -hmm. you, Jabbar, because you was like two people to me. You said, I said, yeah, yeah. You could have used that two different ways. You could have yeah. been like, you, Jabbar, you know what I mean? Like, you still talking about got me. Two names. Names. But yeah, you, uh, Jeremy was there. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, Carlo, Corey. Yeah, we always met, like, like, uh, Cypher. Since since yeah. day one, it was I had always been like, uh, cause my brother and them they, they really started that shit, man. They really started that, you know what I mean? Group group shit, like you know what I mean? Like bringing motherfuckers together to do it, whether whether it was this or whether it was that. Like they they brought people together, man. And like uh, even when it was RTP, it was like he brought he brought a whole lot of niggas together. Like uh, it was him and you know what I mean, Corey and my homeboy. Uh, Jameson, for the most part, you know what I mean? Shout out to my mom, Jameson, too, Shout man. Shout out to Jameson. You know what I mean? For the most part, they brought them together, man, and it was just like it, all niggas on the same accord, you know what I mean? About the same motherfucking, you know what I mean? Outcome and shit. And back then, the outcome was fucking bitches, you know <laughs> So it, it was what it was, and niggas didn't like the shit. You know what I mean? Females liked the shit, you know what I mean? But shit, back then, that's all that mattered, you know what I mean? 
And niggas still to this day, niggas still bring up that RTP shit, nigga. Like it's, that shit got on the nigga's skin, and, and it still do. You know what I mean? I like that shit. You know I mean, mean motherfuckers still don't like it, but you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Somebody gotta make some shake. You can't just sit back and not do nothing, my nigga. You know what I mean? Whether it's whether you by yourself or you in a group of niggas, or whatever, man. I mean, we we did something different than what nobody doing, man. You know what I mean? That's what it was. And motherfuckers ain't like the shit. You know what I mean? We still doing shit to this day. That niggas don't like, but you know what I mean? I feed off of that shit. My niggas feed off that shit. Let me take Seriously. this back just a little bit. Because, like we said, we mentioned Tupac several times. Mm -hmm. You got Tupac shirt on. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? Uh, my man is deep. He deep, man. It's like, you, they still talking about him to this day. And, and it ain't just because his raps or whatever else, man. Dude is deep, man. That's why I say he transcend him, bro. And, like, people like, you say you do music or whatever, you can't do music and not listen to Tupac, man, because the shit he talked about and the situations he talked about, and, and you know what I mean, he, he connected with the people that was, you know what I mean, that didn't have shit, you know what I mean, that came from nothing, you know what I mean, and made something out of nothing. So you can't, you can't say, I don't like this nigga. This nigga became, this nigga was selling the most records when he was alive, nigga, and selling the most records after he died. You know what I mean? So you can't not acknowledge this nigga. For, I mean, I hate to say the word nigga, but that's, I love what, I mean. that's, how, nigga. that's yeah. how we communicate, baby. Terrible so, you know terrible. what I mean? <clears throat> I, yeah, I love the word nigga. You know what I mean? I use it a lot. You know, I'm going to keep using it. You I know use what nigga mean? all the time. But you can't not acknowledge this man for all the shit that he done because he was, he was smart. You know what I mean? He was so smart that, that, he, that he almost killed himself. You know what I mean? I hate Tupac to say it, but he all, he got he got yeah. himself killed. Tupac man. was more intelligent than he was smart. Yeah, the difference between intelligence mm -hmm. and smart. Yeah, when you got intelligent, you know. He got, he got himself killed because he was smart. You, you don't you, find you don't do dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <clears throat> what, I, what I was going to with that is like people don't know the history of because uh, right now the record label is Rich Harvest. Yeah, most it's, it's not just the record label, but the movement. Right, it's Rich Harvest. And it start, you can say, go back to RTP. You can say, I mean, you can say, nah, I mean, it, it ain't even, I'm saying, it, it I'm ain't even this, connected with that, really. This, I'm saying because you and your brother. Yeah. That's why I say, that's when I say that. I'm saying because y'all was down there at the Hammer of RTP and y'all the Hammer of Rich Harvest. Right. So I mean, I'm saying, I mean like, it, really ain't, it really ain't even connected with the RTP shit, you know what I mean? Because, uh, like, everybody was on their own shit, you know what I mean? Even even in RTP, like, it was like everybody had their own, you know what I mean, personality. Everybody had their own shit that they was good at or whatever else. When we went to the Rich Harvest shit, that was something totally different. That was like, okay, we, bro was doing, bro was writing, bro was, you know what I mean? He was like rapping and shit, you know what I mean? And just so happened, I was making beats, you know what I mean? Like me and bro was sitting in the crib on 19th Street in Anderson, you know what I mean? Early, yeah. going to Westville, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm talking about early. I'm sorry about that Westville. You know what I mean? But, uh, we was in the back in the, in the back room, bunk beds, my nigga. You know what I mean? Y'all yeah. do y'all history, man. This shit ain't just pop up though. But you know what I mean? We was on 19th Street, and bro was writing and shit, and I was in that motherfucker making beats off a of little ass off that keyboard that was on hustle and flow. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah this shit ain't just now just get started. You know what I mean? We've been doing this shit, but but you know what I mean? We we had to make it make sense at the end of the day. You know what I mean, bro? He 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 felt like he had something to say, and he felt like he could. He could do this rapping shit, so when it came down to it, we, we looked up like, okay, niggas in Indianapolis is really, you know what I mean, putting that rap shit out. They're like, they really making music and putting that shit on disc and selling this shit. So it was like, let's move to Nap, you know what I mean? And so, you know what I mean, when we took it serious, we was like, let's move to Nap, you know what I mean? And uh, me, I'm coming uh, straight out of high school. I went straight to the military for four years, you know what I mean? Nigga, uh... Weapon specialist, you know what I mean? <laughs> 92, <laughs> 92 Yankee, baby, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Weapon supply specialist, goddammit, you know what I mean? So don't don't ever get it twisted, baby, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, he cleaned him up for two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. But look, look, you can yeah. head where I'm going. Yeah. See, we're we're, 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 we're going to get back to the 90s just a little bit. We're going to get back just to the 90s. I was giving you, know, you the whole play, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean yeah. I was giving and you the I whole play. I wish play. I was write it down, nigga, because yeah. I'll sell the story to fucking uh, yeah. BG. Boy. But, um... I gotta give them the whole play. We're we gonna get back. We're gonna get back. It's the whole play. We're gonna get back to the hate. Tell these niggas how y'all was percolating in the pussy. That's what had the niggas mad. Man, it Thanks was like, pussy. you know what? It was like, uh, it wasn't even like, uh, these niggas mad because you brought them could dance. Yeah, they man. Had, listen, I mean, they had, listen, they had, hold on. They had a gang of bitches and shit. And Mary, <laughs> Muncie. Bro, we know how to. Everyone. Fuck, 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 fuck all that. Fuck, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we fucked with Star.
Star Quest like one time and shit, but you know what I mean? Niggas, my, I mean, my niggas know how to break dance, bro. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm talking about cardboard shit. Okay. Nigga, we was early in the game, yeah. nigga. I'm talking about my niggas knew how to fuck pop lock, and my niggas know how to break dance, spin on their fucking neck type <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like real shit. Break you know what I mean? Crush but but since we was all a team and shit, you know what I mean? Everybody had to be able to do the same shit. So you can't just have one nigga break dance and this nigga over here. You know what I mean? And that nigga in the background too. He don't know how to spin on his back and shit. You know what I mean? But shit, that's what it was, man. And that shit, like, when you when you sit back and you look at TV, man, that's what they showed us. I mean, they didn't show us all that shit that they should have showed us. But, like, it was people doing shit, like, as far as hip-hop goes, man. It was motherfuckers doing shit that was that was monumental, man. I mean, breakdancing, tagging, you know what I mean? That's Spray all paint, hip-hop. train, like, everything, that's bro. All part of hip-hop. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers didn't like that shit because we was rooted to that shit, you know what I mean? Because that's the shit that we looked up to. You know what I mean? And we just made one thing go to another, man. And, and, and motherfuckers didn't like it because niggas wasn't doing shit. Niggas was like, I mean, niggas was selling dope. I mean, my niggas had shit, you know what I mean? They was selling too. I ain't gonna say no names and shit. But you know what I mean? My niggas, we, we deep in that shit, man. Like, every aspect of the game, we was deep in it. And motherfuckers did not like it. Niggas hated that shit. Like, hey, when they see this nigga, I wanna do something to you. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. And that's what it was, man. Who inspired you, man, to start rapping? Uh, my brother, yeah, I saw, man. I saw, I saw my like, brother, bro. That's like an obvious big brother influence. Like once you looked into like, outside of that, the shit that I listened to, you know what I mean. I ain't even gonna lie. The shit that I listened to, I came up on on, on Wu, bro. I remember. I came up on Wu Tang, man. Who the best you know in Wu Tang? Uh, to me, RZA, bro. Okay, give me your top five Wu Tang. And Wu Tang. Yeah, I'ma say RZA. I'ma say Jizza. I'ma say uh, Method Man. Mm. Old dirty bastard, and then uh, who who gonna get number you five? You put him on Ghostface and Rayquan. Yeah, put him on Ghostface and Rayquan. Hold on, hold on. Damn, Rayquan wasn't that to me. It was I I I know y'all probably say he did a uh, doper lyricist, but to me, uh, you got RZA, man. He I don't know what the fuck he did, but he knew what to say on the mic. You know what I mean? Jizzle was like the top of the fucking. He the top lyricist of Wu to me. Jizzle, you listen, yeah. If you listen to that nigga lyrics, he the top lyricist in Wu. But uh. Old Dirty Bastard, he was, his charisma, you know what I mean? It was his personality, it was his lyrics, everything, and that's what put him where he at, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Method Man, it was like, he he communicated to the people, he knew how to talk to the people, like the people that, he was like a Tupac of the Wu-Tang. Who was it? You know what I mean? Uh, Method, Method Man. Man. He was like the Tupac of the Wu-Tang, I don't care how, you know what I mean? He might feel like a different way, but... What do you mean by that? He was the way he spoke. He to transcended people. from the way he there. spoke to people. I think he, he transcended like, in a popular way, but I don't think he had no like no constant songs. Tupac transcended. No, nah, he didn't. He no, nah, he didn't. But he, it, it probably had more to do with the type of person that he was. But you know what I mean? He related to people like the with the music that he made. You know what I mean? He related to people more with the music that he made. You know, Wu Tang didn't relate to everybody. People just liked the sound. Yeah. And they couldn't understand a lot of the shit the niggas was talking about, you know what I mean? Shit. Motherfuckers just like the sound, you know what I mean? But Method Man was something different. He was like, he the motherfucker that makes sense, you know what I mean? He he was the one who like gave him that mainstream with the uh, Mary J. Blige shit. Yeah. That yeah. was his shit right there. Yep. And that is the chamber that they had on the, on the bikes, his first verse. Oh, Even on that good. ice cream shit. Just Watch these rap niggas get yeah. all up in your gut. That's why I said, yeah. hey, woo. So I understand that tra- that uh, point of view where you yeah. say he transcended them. He the one who I think gave Wu Tang mainstream validity. Yeah, really. Because yes, I'm gonna tell really? you, man. Because everybody else was speaking Spanish. You know what I mean? It I'm was like you, 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 you know what they were saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, you had to like enjoy yeah. the lyricism of rap to enjoy Wu Tang. Yeah. And, and and with the same thing though, when you say that about Method Man, you can say the same thing about ODB. Yeah. Cause he gave them that mainstream shit. Cause this he, nigga came. He had the and all he did was like the. Arguably, <laughs> he was the worst. O.D.B. was like, you know what I mean, but he still had lyrics though. But he still no, he didn't. He, uh, you, you can't say he didn't. You can't Ryan say he didn't because go back like baby you, you can't say he did not consider and spit that shimmy shimmy oh, y'all go that word for word. Go I ain't ahead. gonna do it right did, now. I've but never, I'm saying I've because it's, it's how you put words together, man. It ain't got nothing to do with how you what you're saying like sometimes, man. Not all the time, but it ain't got it ain't got nothing to do what you're saying sometimes, man. It's how you put your words together man everybody can't do it like that that's why it was, uh, that's why he okay. that's why he made it to where he was at i can agree with this okay. shit when you talking about let me see uh, uh Damn, man. He told you that he didn't give like, He told like you can tell either. when you look at it you can tell he don't give a fuck and his lyrics explained it you know what I mean? It was I like it was like some ODB shit. Most motherfuckers would be out here and they'd be in 
cashmere sweaters and motherfucking loafers and shit, and then they start talking about some gangster shit. Nigga, you ain't you ain't got this shit on in the hood, my nigga. nigga this nigga was like these. point blank period, nigga. This who I am, and that's who you gonna see every time you meet me. And that's what my lyrics say. That's why I respect the ODB, nigga. This what the fuck I am. I yeah, I probably respect. He gonna say I just burnt this bitch. He gonna say I just burnt this bitch, and he really serious. He really just burnt this bitch last week. You know what I mean? He putting that shit in his lyrics, man. Everybody else like they got a point to prove, man. A motherfucking shell covered over their real self. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean, his transparency is what made us relate to him in life. Yeah, man. his transparency. And that's but, what's real, man. And that's real. And that's that's cool, what count. But that don't transition to being a good artist, a good rapper. Man, you gotta, you gotta. Man, first of all, you got to decipher what a good artist is, man. You can't just say, you can say that, okay, somebody write books, they they write books, okay. Everybody can't write books, you know what I mean? Everybody don't know how to put their words together to write books, you know what I mean? But you might be able to put your words together to make songs, you know what I mean? So he might be good at this, but not good at the next thing, but you can't tell, you can't say that this person is better then the next artist, just because he don't know how to put his so words together. he paved the way for the Lil verse of the world today. He paved the way for the motherfuckers like the, uh, what's my man? Flavor Flav. Flav. Nah, I mean, not Flav Flav, 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 Flav Danny he, Brown type yeah, niggas, yeah, you know what I mean? I know, yeah, but he still paved the way for niggas like that to, to let them be they self, man. You know what I mean? He paved, he paved the way for niggas like that. It ain't no, it ain't about no, about your appearance and what motherfuckers think I ain't about talking about appearance. I'm just talking, when I'm talking, I'm talking lyrics. I'm just talking with rapping. When I... I mean, rap is always subjective because it's opinion based. But you, I'm saying you got people that talk fast and you got motherfuckers that talk slow. You got motherfuckers that talk intelligent and you got motherfuckers that get straight to the point. You know what I mean? It's different people when it comes to, to the rap. Said you wasn't gonna spit it. Just say a little bit of that shit. We should be out. Give me a little bit of that shit. I got to hear some shit. I, hey, you, you give it a hell of a spiel, but at the end of the day, I, I, I got to hear some shit. Y'all know all these be that dude, man. Y'all yeah. can't say he wasn't. That nigga recorded with Mariah Carey, nigga. That I like him, you know but you know, man. ODB is like Ricky Clark. <laughs> we, shout out to Ricky Clark. You ain't from the crib. You don't know who I'm talking about. But he's like Ricky Clark. We enjoy Ricky Clark. He the Bobby Brown, the new edition. Nah, because Bobby Brown was talented. Bobby Brown was oh, arguably, arguably, Bobby Brown was the best in new edition. <laughs> Bobby Brown was the best in new edition. So, no, nah, that's not even that close to comparison. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Give me the mic and I'm going to take it away. <laughs> on on the bar by y'all. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> on for the dog. <laughs> for the dogs as well. Brooklyn Squad, Wu Tang Killer, bees on the swarm. Rain on your college is disco boom, <laughs> and you don't even touch my skills. What is that? <laughs> One killer B and he ain't gonna kill. Uh, I mean, I drop that down. I believe you, man. I believe you, man. I'll take your word for it. Niggas get hard, quick, cement to the ground. Any MC in any 52 states, I get psycho killer. Norman Bates, come on, man. That's that dude, man. I don't know how you look at it. Uh, the ODB just entered my top 60. <laughs> Damn. Off of, what, what, based, off, 60. based off what you <laughs> said, he just passed Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I, I always had Everybody had their own, you know what I mean? He might be in my bottom five. But, of bro, all let's, time. Just, let's just get back to the subject. Wu Tang was part of the influence. Yeah, and then y'all got down here, man. Just being in, uh, you from Mary. Yeah. Uh, small town, Indiana. Came through yeah. Anderson, just a little bit bigger, but small town Indiana. You end up in that. Yeah. Big town, small town Indiana. Big city. That's like big city shit. Wow. But, but right, right, I looked right, at it, it was like, like it was like big city, city shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go to the city. You know so what I mean? So when y'all got down here, man, what was the first thing you noticed between like the difference between yourself and the rappers around here? Uh, between me and them? Yeah. I think my shit was a little bit more detailed. You know what I mean? Like, people, like, I heard a lot of niggas rap, you know what I mean? I could have been in the wrong part of town, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. with the part of town I was in, my shit was a little bit more detailed than the shit I heard. I was on the west side. And when I you say ain't gonna detailed, lie, I've been mainly on the west side. When you say detailed, a little bit on the north, but I've been mainly on the west side since I've been. When you like, say detailed, you west. mean they just feel more lyrical, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I guess you could say that. I mean, well, what would you say? I say detailed because I, I talk about more shit within. Four bars, yeah. That a motherfucker might talk so about you know, your horizon broader. Like you, you touch mean. more subjects. Yeah, than, yeah. Than, no, I'm gonna say more yeah. shit in his four bars than motherfucker might say in his shit. You know okay, I mean? okay, okay. And uh, like today, because like I said, man, I don't want to feel like an interview. I want to feel relaxed. We're gonna talk yeah. more about your CD. Like uh, 
But today, who's your influence? Like, what, what makes you like one? Like, you've been rapping for how long? Uh, man, I'll probably. And be I'm talking about my brother. Like, brother started off first. Like, seriously, I yeah. think I, I think I've been a rapper since like. It, it had to be like 2001, man. It, it had to be like like 2000, 2001. You know what I mean? I've been writing. I like from day one. I've been writing poetry and shit like that. Like the high school shit. I, I was writing poetry and shit just because. It, I don't know. It just it just happened. You know what I mean? You probably take English class and they tell you how to write this shit and write that shit and you start putting words together and I start writing. You know what I mean? But, so uh, in sixteen years, what it's been on you know? yeah, like, like what like who do you hear? That makes you, I mean, outside, now, of, outside now, of being around rappers all yeah. day and stuff, what makes you just be like, damn, that shit hard, and it just motivates you to keep going? Right now, who I hear that make me keep going is, is the J. Coles, the Kendrick Lamars, you know what I mean? Uh, the uh, Big Crits, you know what I mean? I, I can't get <laughs> <laughs> I dare they couldn't use I, the footage. Ah, yeah. uh, damn. Go ahead, man, with the rest of the night. Yeah, I, I gotta put myself at the top, man. I, I, I really don't look up to no man like that because men make mistakes, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, yeah, you're a good artist, but you know what I mean? You talking about your life and your story, you know what I mean? Pat. I can't compare my Pat. story to your story. Hey, you're this ready to I'm gonna get y'all another nine. Yeah, <laughs> nine. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add this back, like I said. So I gotta keep, I gotta keep my people up at top. You know, man. Uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, man. I, I'm gonna get y'all pocket one, man. And two, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yo, he your two behind you. Know you. I'm gonna give him two. You know, what I mean, number three. Uh, that gotta be. It gotta be Biggie. You gotta be Biggie, man, because just for the simple fact that you know, what I mean, that's that, that's that dude, man. His storytelling was crucial too, man. He, that's, that's what that he's talking about. I'm talking yeah, my man, Biggie storytelling was crucial. Story all time. He, he knew how to, he knew, he knew what he was doing, man. Uh, that's number two, number three, number four. Uh, I'm gonna go with Scarface, man. Okay. I gotta say Face at number four. Number five, I'm gonna go with Snoop Dogg. Who you say? Uh, Snoop. Snoop. Yeah, I say Snoop. I ain't gonna put Dre in there because Dre don't write his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, much love to Dre though. Know, and uh, <laughs> Apple Music and everybody. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case. Yeah, just, just, case, just in case. case. I love y'all, man. Through. But you know, y'all know what it is. You know what I mean? Easy didn't write his shit either. You know what I mean? But uh, Nor Drake. Yeah. But uh, I gotta go into uh, who, who I say? Snoop last. Yeah, Snoop's was Nor. Uh, you five. gotta go on Andre 3000, man. You gotta Six. put him up there. And he really probably should be higher than where I just put him at, you know what I mean? But uh, but Andre three thousand man, uh, and it's crazy. That. He got it without a solo rap album. Like he's in a lot of people top ten without a solo rap album. Yeah, and he deserved. I mean, he kind of had a solo, hey, but, you know what I mean? But it wasn't really. We no based on that shit. <laughs> yeah, we based on yeah. the love below. Uh, Speaking of Germany, where I'm at though. Six. That's six. Yeah. Number number seven, man. It gets deep, man. Uh, <laughs> it gets deep, man. After that, I started getting into the because it was it was a dry spot for me, man. Wasn't nobody doing shit, so it was a dry spot. I'm gonna go east, west, north, south, know, east man. coast. I'll fuck with uh, Cube ain't in there. Cube ain't in Cube there. definitely. Cube is beyond that other shit. Cube is up there with motherfucking Pac and, and motherfucking Big. You know what I mean? That's the dude right Wait, there. You ain't got Jay in your shit. No, nah, I, I got Jay. Jay. I, I don't know, man. I don't really listen to Jay like that, man. I love that nigga, man, well, because I boy. know that I can't put him up there like that, man. I can't relate to them like that, man. Jay talk about a lot of... Jay, been his whole career, been talking about a lot of shit that I ain't know nothing about. Selling dope? <laughs> Not shit. even selling dope. Just, I'm just saying, like... What the, the reasonable doubt was the shit to me, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. What about Blueprint? Blueprint? I don't know, man. Good. I can't get into that, man. Good. Can't get into that. Blueprint nigga got to talking about shit. I ain't. God damn. The nigga was stunting, man. That Jay Z was stunting hard. Shit, baby, nigga, you know Blueprint. Uh. That motherfucker song cry. Yeah, song you know, cry. You can relate to song cry. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't fuck around. I can't. Oh, Y'all can't oh, talk me into the like of this nigga because let me tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the shit that he really bastard. Hell yeah, because we were talking about Wu Tang. I'm gonna tell y'all the shit that I listen to from Jay. I listen to Reasonable Doubt. I listen to motherfucking Black Album. I listen to motherfucking Blueprint. Those are the three that I listen to. Okay, Blueprint. Yeah, Blueprint. I listen to Blueprint. 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 Bluepr
She, not only to me, I didn't miss nothing because I felt like I seen him change, and he did change be, for whatever reason. He did change, you know what I mean? He did. He wasn't Maybe disconnected. He, said he, been he, he, he ain't been connected to the people. Time. He yeah. ain't been connected to the people until now. He's just now started talking about real life shit, and motherfuckers really need yeah, to be doing. On that fucking, you must love me. You must love me. Second shit that yeah. where I'm from. Man, that, but that wasn't the body. That wasn't the body of his music, short. though, man. man you that wasn't singles. the body of his music. He did that singles. shit. Yeah. He did that you shit for publicity and to keep himself life. grounded with the fans. Even Renegade, motherfuckers is food. Renegade is cool. I mean, that's cool. I love that motherfucking uh, that uh, what's that shit called? What's it? Lurker exercise, some shit like that. I love that shit. Yeah, like, it was, it was, girls, it it was cool. No, I couldn't. Blueprint. You couldn't relate to that? Nah, not really. Yeah. Nah, I was more yeah. of a Nas type nigga. I, love, I like Nas, man. Take over? I like Nas, bro. What about when Nas was on there talking about he Nas Escobar? He got all this coke. I didn't like him. Man. I didn't look. I didn't fuck with Nas when he was in that so little he, point of his life. He, he, I don't like, know what he was going through. Like it was written. I didn't see what I gave you power. That shit. If I ruled the world. Oh man! You gotta understand. I, I fucked with uh, I fucked with Nas late in the game though, really. Yeah. But when I when I did you fuck with him, by Tupac, not like these niggas. I was I wasn't even influenced by that. By, it was I'm just the, I was influenced by by my upbringing, man. You know what I mean? Wait, and, wait, and that's wait. what and that's just what. Just digressing just a little bit. Uh -oh. How can you relate to Biggie but can't relate to Jay Z? Because Biggie, so Biggie was more, was more Biggie was too. more. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta holes, realize, holes, all that nigga you gotta realize, man. A foolish Biggie bitch. was an ugly nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you that should make it relatable. You know what I mean? Jay Z is <laughs> ugly too, but Biggie in, in real life. life. Hold on, that was making look, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In real life, Biggie would be uglier than Jay Z and, and a bitch. Oh, like this nigga like a bitch eyes. Like, 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 like the bitch eyes. This like she was like this nigga fat he cross eyed <laughs> and you know what I mean nigga probably stank you know what I mean but still hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on but hold on was hold on like, hold on 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 he probably he was big. He was a big nigga. Everybody I know that was big and like so overweight, man. big. Like yeah, that was a fat man. They, was like, they didn't hit all the spots they were supposed to hit. Yeah, he's sweat. A lot of big motherfuckers do. Speak. It was sweat or something That's else. Crazy. <laughs> big chicks, big dudes, you, the, you the famous <laughs> fat stanky rapper. But I can't get no top ten because, like you said, you just brought up Cube and then you know what I mean. What about you don't put uh, Kendrick nowhere up there? He definitely up there, but well, I, if I, you, you can't just, you can't can't just put him above pop. You know what I mean? No, I can't put him above pop. pop. No, but, but, but let's say like this: if you, you mention Snoop, yeah. you just take Snoop over Kendrick. Nah. Okay. I mean, listening I to it, I yeah, know. yeah, listening to it because his music was more. To yeah. me, his music was more music. like you can listen to it. Probably one of the top five. You can listen to, listen to it, motherfucking Jen the Juice. That be down. fucked up. You can't really be fucked up listening to Kendrick shit because he be like talking to you, teaching you and shit. What, now, what about, he like, what about, uh, he like, all right, what? daddy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit was more common to the people. You know what I mean? But Snoop shit was more like it was gangster shit. That motherfucker. That shit was like Snoop shit is that motherfucking doggy style. I don't know. You yeah, no yeah, that's the hardest shit in life. But you got the shit. That's like you got the, the other shit that they did, like, like uh, you got the other shit that they did, uh, they did with Nate Dogg. My nigga Coolio, yo, that's my shit. Yeah. Now some of these bitches just yeah. so disrespectful. You got the shit they did with Nate Dogg on the Butter Rim soundtrack and shit like that. That was come on now. Six in the morning, police at that one. No, 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 no. That motherfucking uh, we gonna come back to the hardest song on the uh. We gonna come back and pull it up though on the on the Butter Rim soundtrack with Nate Dogg. Pull that shit up. We definitely gotta play that. Matter of fact, we can't. You know what I mean, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. That nigga is them. I don't like giving no top ten, man, because I've been through so many eras of this rap game, man, and you can't compare nobody. You can't compare Kendrick to Pop. You know and then man? listen, listen, I'm gonna tell you, you can't compare Dog Pound for Life. Dog Pound for Life. Regulate. No, uh -uh. that's not with Nate Dog. Well, Dog Pound for Life. Let me let me see the let me see the lineup. But uh, so, this is how I come out telling people. It was some man, pimp shit. It was this is why I tell people all the time. Well, I ain't say all the time. I just thought about this the other day. I was telling Corey earlier. And he probably thought we should break it up in the air. It's like the top five of 87 Big to 93. Pimp. Big Pimp. Look, they had Big Pimp before JC did, nigga. What you mean, nigga? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, it's like biting out here, nigga. No. No. <laughs> no, I think, I think hip hop, man, you need to break by air. It's like 97 to 87. You have to. 87 to I, I, and, I like, and I like that post that you made, yeah, but I was yeah. like. I was like, you gotta, you can't, you can't just 
put motherfuckers up there and say this the top five or top. You gotta. What is it being? You, you can I don't know. I've been through errors of the rap game, my nigga. You know what I mean? So you got a right to make your opinion. Yeah. So, so I can't just put Kendrick, even though he might be the hottest right now. I can't put him at the top of Tupac because no, but the you shit. Say he's the best of his era. You can say yeah. in the last five yeah. years he's been the best rapper. Yeah. So I mean, back to my question: Do you fuck with buttons? That was quick. That was quick. The Joe Buttons. Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, I ain't got to listen to a lot of his new. I've been trying I, to get your bar hit. I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that I like him or I don't like him because I ain't heard a lot of his music. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know why I haven't, but you know what I mean. So I don't think I gravitate to gravitate to him like that. You know what I mean? But fuck I the rest of these rappers. Going back yeah. to you, tell me some of the process uh, of going through making uh, backseat driver too. I know it came out a little bit later than you anticipated. Yeah, it did. Like you were the first person I ever had seen have a release party, then release the album a month later. Yeah, that's cool though. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, the release party was fun. I love it. it I, I, I ain't but, say, yeah. I ain't been to no yeah. release party like that yet, nigga. It was the unlimited Hennessy. You know what I mean? Man, man, I don't give a fuck how many niggas been making posts on Facebook about my shit to this day, nigga. They had an actual you know what I mean? sponsor. Nigga, motherfuckers been making posts about my shit to this day, nigga, but it was an unlimited Hennessy in that motherfucker. And it was chicken wings, and it was cake in that bitch. You know, and it was females in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas and wings, you know, that, that shit. Yeah, the no. wings and chicken probably gone. But, like, what was the process, man? What, what was the hold up? Uh, the sound, man. Yeah. The sound is the most important thing about your music, my nigga. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. Your sound, like, you gotta be able to put your shit in and listen to it and the shit hitting right how it's supposed to. You got to. If you don't, if it ain't like that, then you wasting your time. That's, speaking That's like recording through a fucking headphone, you know what I mean, in, in your stereo box, my nigga, you know what I mean? You can't. You can't do that. You gotta put your money behind your sound, man. Yeah. You can't, I mean, even though you got a studio at your house, in your basement or whatever Damn, else. Stunt on them. Woo! Might, nah, I ain't stunting, my <laughs> nigga, because that's why I started. I started, we, we was recording in the kitchen, my nigga, with uh, a blanket over the fucking, over this whole, door. you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. We had, a, we had a comforter over the whole fucking kitchen, my nigga, with the mic in that bitch. Okay, you back to sound, man? back to sound. Yeah, you, 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 you don't invest in your, the way you sound, you're not doing nothing, man. You're not, you, I ain't going to invest in you. I'm not buying your shit if you can't. Put no money behind the way your music sound, man. And your shit can sound trash, and you can pay somebody to make it sound better. You know what I mean? So it ain't no excuse. If you, if you, I mean, if I see where you coming from, and we meet on that note, and I'm at your studio, and I see how you recording, and I, and then you put your music out, then I can understand. But if you out here stunting like a motherfucker, you might be holding stacks in one of your posts, and then your music sound like shit. Nah, hell no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. What was you saying about saying? Uh, I, when you said sound, it was more crisp. Like, do you do you go with the sound that's out now, like sonically? You're or talking you, about quality. No, I'm you talking, talking about, about quality. 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 Yeah, like you talking about quality. I'm talking about sound quality. Okay. Like, like seriously, that's 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 what it is, man. Like you got to be able to me, and it's it's a tough ass situation, and it's a motherfucker. I'm telling you, it's a tough process, man. Because the dude that that uh, shout out to my homie, uh, nice enough, man. Shout out to a motherfucker, uh, young Pluto, man. They, they probably like nigga, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was like, I don't like how it sound. He might have mastered this motherfucker three times, and I'm like, I don't, that shit ain't right. We got to go back and open it back up and we take this out. That's and how you're supposed to and be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's a long process, man, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? Niggas, you got to pay niggas for shit like that, man. You, if you don't know what you're doing, you got to pay a nigga for that shit, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? My, just, just so happened my homeboy went to school for that shit, you know what I mean? So... He got a better idea than a lot Who of. Who did this? Uh, Muhammad Young Pluto. He he mastered it, and uh, and uh, my nigga Nice Enough. He did most of the mixing. He did some of the mastering too. What's buddy. your favorite song on the album? My no, favorite I song. Do, I don't want to like do one. Let's give you a top three. Uh, my top three uh, would probably be. What's the song we played for the uh, intro? Yeah, I, I like hard a lot, man. Be, just because it, it just seemed it seemed grounded to me. You know what I mean? It might not be the best sounding or the best, the best, you know what I mean, concept or whatever else to anybody else, but it's it's one of the like to me, it's like one of the better songs to me because that's I feel like I gotta go hard in every aspect of the shit. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta give my motherfucking all to the shit. Uh, one of the second songs is Turn Off. A lot of people like Turn Off, and I ain't gonna say I like Turn Off just because y'all like Turn Off. I like Turn Off because it was first of all it's one of the first songs I made on the album. You know what I mean? Before any of the shit was done. I had like five songs done to this album, and Turn Off was one of them, you know what I mean? Okay. So, uh, 
I like that song because it's shit that motherfuckers go through. And I don't want nobody to feel like I'm bashing women on this song and no shit like that. I don't even want to give y'all that idea, really. We had a whole discussion on the turn off But you know what I mean? It's like, like shit you don't like. <laughs> Tell motherfucker you don't like it. Don't, don't be trying to like, okay, I can do what that is. She, don't sell. <laughs> she digging her nose and yeah. shit. But I can deal with that. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's <laughs> shit that females don't like the niggas do. A lot of shit. We well, probably do more than y'all. You know what I mean? Bitches turn. I don't care what bitches don't like. No, I mean, what's other thing, bitches that that turn you off? He said all yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I really song. said everything. I, I, yeah. I think I said everything, yeah. but uh, just for the people, just for the people the ain't heard the song. The people that ain't heard the song. What's your top turn, turn off? off the top three that, turn off that, by that bitches. Female dude, man. Bitches. It's probably it's a term of dear. <laughs> Expecting me to treat you some type of way when I don't know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You mean by that? Just off, you want me to like go. You want me a queen? Yeah, you can't say you're a queen if you not. Yeah, you can't say you know queen if you're not no queen. You might be a trap queen. You ain't, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even the trap queen because you ain't fucking with the, that nigga. You know what I mean? You might be fucking with, with that nigga, nigga. Yeah, you fucking fuck with, with the runner. runner. You know what I mean? You <laughs> fucking with the nigga that's you. You riding around all day. Yeah, I ain't even got to chill and shit, cause this motherfucker making stains and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> but still though, uh Turn Off was like it, it's probably one of my better songs that I like, man. See man, we got all of a sudden we need yeah. the other two turn offs. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. top three. You top, top three, three yeah. yeah. I said what I say, uh hard turn no, off. No, 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 no. 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 Were you talking about uh, what bitches do to turn you off? The top three. First, when you said expect, 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 expect to turn me off. Expect it too uh, much. Yeah, mm-hmm. just suspecting too much. Expect like a nigga to pay for this and pay for that just because y'all out on a date. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not courting you, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, not even just trying to fuck. It's just like a mutual, you know what I mean? Respect, yeah. man. It's a mutual respect, man. So like, don't, don't turn this. So don't turn this into like we yeah, doing yeah, no way. Yeah, don't be just because you because everybody tell you that you look good. That I'm supposed to think the same thing and treat you like that, you know. I don't give a. I don't see a lot of motherfuckers that look good that don't even live here, you know. <laughs> For real, you What's go out to yeah. Up to uh, probably like uh. First of all, I don't like no motherfucker that smells some type of way, man. Like, you, ain't got, <laughs> you ain't got no hygiene yeah. about yourself, man. I like guess. females to me, I, I feel like they. Shower all the time, you know what I mean. You clean I yourself people, all, the all the time. If you got some smell yeah. about yourself, the then you're not about the right. All you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't give a damn. What, what? <laughs> I don't care what's uh, distracting you from cleaning yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it ain't no excuse for that. That important. That important. That you got to wash your fucking hands. Yeah. Fuck that. Hey, fuck I tell that. people all the time that before a bitch come to me. She should have taken the bath like she was going to fuck God. <laughs> <laughs> I need that level of cleanliness in my yeah, life. You got to yeah. be a clean person. And that go for men too, man. You got to be clean. You can't fuck be with guys. Can't be rolling. So, yeah. We talking. I'm trying to do the women, man. Fuck yeah. it. We ain't advocating for women just, right I'll now. Just, yeah, we, we can't advocate for women right now. Right before we start self hate. Start self hate. Before we start self hate. Don't be out here talking about you a queen and shit. You don't know how to cook. You know what I mean. If I come to your house and yeah, we eat ramen noodles and shit Hot with your kids, is that a big shit. criteria for you with a woman woman to cook? If I mean, if you act a certain type of way, if you set yourself to a certain standard and you can't make no food or, or making a motherfucking attempt to try to make no food or try to better yourself or go study on how to make some food, <laughs> or yeah. read a book, a cookbook or something on how to cook some chicken, motherfucker, then no, you know what I mean. You can't. You're not gonna make it. You know what I mean. You gotta understand you know. that this is a whole new era of life. You know what I mean? We come from that type of shit. But, you know what I mean? I'm speaking on African Americans. You know what I mean? Women. Two continents. You know what I mean? We come yeah. from that shit. Two you can't. Two you can't continents. just say. Yeah. You can't just say yeah. I can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to cook. I Some ain't gonna try. Don't yeah, they don't because they don't try. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. If, 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 if you can do anything you want to, if you put your mind to it. If Man. you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want to do. So I'm not trying to hear that shit. I cook. Okay. You know what I mean? I cook for my women. You know what I mean? So you, you know do. what I mean? You do. Yeah, yeah, I cook for women. You know what I mean? I cook for my own. You know what I mean? So it ain't, it ain't no excuse, man. You know what I mean? It ain't I, no excuse. I do. You got to be able to, to at least try and put I'm some effort into it. You're going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's a better way to eat, really. I'm talking about 
but it's processed shit. Nuggets. Nuggets. It's some shit that's going to kill us. Fries and shit. Oh, I just can't be out here. Well, it's a lot of... It's a, it's a, a, apron on and flour on my face, smiling and she hug, come kiss me and cheek smack me on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do self subjugation Damn. My man cook for me. <laughs> you said the bar too high. You niggas at the bar too high for niggas like me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nah, but shit, like females set themselves to a certain standard, man. I'm just saying you gotta live by that standard. Don't set yourself up there if you ain't that. You know what I mean? It's females out here that that go hard, man. But you tell that, the bitch like, she, she the hoe, she was a hoe. I don't call females hoes either way. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if that's what's in the back of my mind. I never call a female hoe because you know what I mean. That's just like the utmost disrespect to me. Man, I feel like that's what about beyond. You, what about, I what feel about, like what I feel like that's beyond calling. Them. I, nah, I feel like that's beyond calling a female a female a bitch. You know oh. what I mean? Just because I don't know. It's it's just what to me. Hold up. Yeah, she might she be, is. but I ain't gonna call her that. You know what I mean? So you I might to make hints to it. You know? <laughs> you got sugar coat. You got sugar coat. Y'all might sugar coat that shit. I you mean, that's just how I feel. Like, you know what I mean? You kind of suck too many dicks. And you kind of fuck a lot of niggas. Yeah, you know what I mean? But you got to. I mean, as long as she gets the Your body counted a hundred. Damn, when she was 25. Yeah, but you gotta get them the same love and respect that you give the next motherfucker, man. Nah, because the motherfucker that ain't a hoe, that go the motherfucker that ain't a damn. Just thinking they queens and they yeah. not queens. Nah, yeah. because you got females that ain't hoes and got a more wicked spirit than the motherfucker that is a hoe. Bitches is a hoe. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's you gotta know no, how to. Yeah, I think get that. the fuck out of here. Hell no, I don't believe it. He believe it. Oh, hell no. You don't think our chicks got a hoe? No. Like a hoe? Yeah, it depends on the definition of a hoe, man. It depends on what's the definition. A definition of a hoe? Yeah. Is a bitch you fuck like you? Nah, you can't say like you. Oh, the fuck I mean? Female, female, dudes, dudes. Like, what's what? Like, niggas call females hoes. What's the definition of a hoe? A woman who fuck like a man. Yeah. Regard with no regards. With no emotional connections. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Got, you got females out there like that, but they the first, first the most most they they're hoes. the most the most uh the one thing that everybody know is is prostitutes. They've been out there. That's a hoe. That's, that's a hoe. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm a saying, hoe. That's so, hoe. so so you that's <laughs> that's even call them hoes, and they answer to it. That's what I'm saying. Hoes, but you got females that ain't out there prostituting, but they are still they for free. They still fuck yeah. who they want to fuck. They still hoes. or they might get money for fucking the motherfucker. Yeah, they get paid. Yeah, they get paid. Don't know who wants to be out there like that. Yeah, I mean, some of them do. No, they end up like this. Some we, them did, do. we had this discussion off air. Yeah. Women are do not want to be hoes. It's yeah. like Look. you end up and you figure out that's your strongest point in life. This my well, problem. All you can well, do is one example. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to think what this chick name is. She danced. She danced over there in Texas. Where at? You know her name. She real thing. No, I'm trying to figure out which one. No, no, she the bitch who Drake was fucking with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They retired. Drake tried. No, no, they tried. Drake Drake tried to retire. Johnny Blaze or some shit like that. Yeah, Drake tried to retire. She's a dancer all the night. I said her all the night. What are you saying? He, he tried to no, retire her. Saying, her. He had the money to her? retire her. Yeah. And she didn't want to retire her. <laughs> she addicted to that life. You know, yeah. That's she, what she wanted. You know she's psychological. That's what she wanted. This she said, she said I, this is what I like doing. I don't, I don't think Jack was going to marry her, though. Did she say she liked dancing? She, she, she like that she that she that she wanted wanted. She's like that life. I don't even know if she if she having sex with dudes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying she liked that life. I'm talking about basically that we can like, we have all concrete evidence. That they are fucking. Yeah, I, I don't think they know. Just take a typical bitch like that, that you know shit. around you. Just say any bitch you've ever known who's a hoe, you can look in her eyes and tell she don't enjoy her occupation. And every bitch wish they could have a. A lot of times like, you can't tell, man. I can. I can. A lot of times you can't tell. Like a like like <laughs> superpower and shit. These bitches do not want to be that. They will prefer to come home to a man that love them every some night. Some of them don't. Yes, they do. Some of them don't, man. If you ever some have a conversation do not, with a Some of them is like niggas and do not want to come home to a man. A woman is never like a nigga. A woman is never like a nigga. If you ever sit down and have a conversation with a woman, I'm going to tell you it's been something that put them in that position of where they're doing that shit, whether it's they ain't got molested when they was younger, they ain't got fucked up when it's, uh, it's always reactive. It's never a nigga broke their heart. So now they're fucking and it's moving they, it's on. They react I look at it like they, this. And they became accustomed I look, to it. I look at it like this. A lot of that shit got to do with how their mama was. That's, so a, you big, can't, that's a strong point. Okay, but you that's can't you can't point. say all of them want to sit down and get married. Okay, one percent. All of them don't. All of them be like, fuck it. Only a hundred. Only a hundred. Some of them be like, like fuck a nigga. You know what I mean? That's like, reactive, though. That's yeah. not a natural disposition. Not all the time, man. That's not a 
a natural disposition for one be like women, normal women. Now I'm saying normal women. Yeah. They want that security and that protection. Well, I know a woman. I know. I know a female right now that don't fuck with niggas. She, she like females and ain't never fuck with a man in her life. I thought she confused. And yeah. I, no, she, you can't say she confused. Yes, the fuck she ain't never fuck, She ain't never fuck with a man in her life. That's, 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 that's odd as fuck. Yeah, that's not normal. normal. Yeah. That's, 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 that's so not normal. So she was raised. normal for a man and a woman. So she was raised. raised. That's the normal. Yeah, because you raised you, fuck you start up, going into religion, religion, you can say it's normal. It's not even religion. It's human nature. You can't produce. You don't have to put a relationship. Yeah, you right. You right. You right. You right. Everybody wants a child. You can't produce with the same sex. Period. You right. It's normal to her because that's what she's in. Right. But to like nature, that's not normal. I mean, yeah, it's not. It's not normal to nature. But I'm just saying, like. This this chick don't find no affection or no attraction in no man. Period. That's it like happened, it happened since that's happened like, that's since mental. like 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 she was born. But you can't change that or say that she wrong. You know what no, I mean? You, you can say you wrong, but she won't accept that she's wrong. That's a different thing. You can yeah. always give your critique on the situation. I mean, yeah, that's your opinion though. I mean, based on what? I mean, is, is it a, like when you say you can't tell her she's wrong? Yeah, what is that based on? Like, why can't you tell her she's wrong? You can tell her, but now I mean that she gonna accept. That's it. like saying, I mean, she don't have to accept it, but that's like telling somebody who molests children, you can't tell them they're wrong. Yeah, that's a little. No, bit. it's not true because it's something that they like doing. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that yeah. is something that they like doing. So it's the same thing as something that she likes doing. So if you can't tell him he's wrong for fetishing over six year old boys, you can't tell her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whether you like it or not, man, you is in your opinion. It's I mean, very I, yeah, I, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but. Uh, <laughs> I prefer to see a bitch eat some pussy than a little uh, 15, yeah. 15 year old man suck a six year old dick. Yeah, but why? I mean, see, now you start going to bring that conversation no, up. No, why? You know what I mean? Personal. Yeah. I'll tell them they both wrong. Yeah. But if I got to choose a lesser or two eagles, <laughs> let's go carpet dive together. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go munch. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather see you attack a grown woman than this nigga over here fuck Timmy up. Yeah, boy. But yeah, man. Um, Appreciate you for coming through, though. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the show should be one ready. No, I was just saying, yeah. I appreciate you. No, we yeah, almost we almost up on time. Yeah, we got four minutes. But um Damn. Yeah, let me let me end that four minutes off. Say what you gotta say and then like, you know what I mean? Oh no, I'm gonna tell you, man. Tell people where they can find you on the social media and shit to uh, really download the music where they can hear it. Uh check me out on Facebook, man. I'm on I'm at uh Pack Say Jack. You know what I mean? P A K S A J A K. For some Pack reason, Jack this shit is funny as hell to me, man. I never looked at your URL. I never looked at your URL. Pack Say Jack on Facebook. Uh, the homie Pack on uh, Instagram. I got Pack Say Jack on Twitter. You know what I mean? You can go down my, download my music on CD Baby. It's on Bandcamp. It's on uh, Google Play right now. It's on iTunes. It's on iHeart. You know what I mean? I just found that out today, but that's all good. You know what I mean? It's on iHeart. It's on. Uh, it's on, it's on everything, man. So y'all ain't got no reason to not download it, man. Uh, it's, it's, it's Indiana's own, baby. You Backseat I mean? driver, too. When you listen to my music, too. yeah, it ain't going to, some of it's self-explanatory, but a lot of it's hidden, you know what I mean? You got to listen to what I'm saying, man. It ain't just no regular-ass music, man. Listen to what I'm saying, man. My shit goes deep, you know what I mean? The niggas on my album go deep, man. Shout out to everybody that featured on this album. You know what I mean? I love y'all. Shout out to everybody that helped me put it together, man. Shout out to my homie, uh, Nice Enough, my homie Pluto that, that mixed and mastered this uh, this uh, this project, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? MK, MK14 that did the, uh, the graphics on the album, man. Shout out to all y'all, man. It's all love, man. Uh, you know what I mean? If I make it to the top, we make we, it to the top. Ain't no if. Yeah. So when you make when I make it to the top, we make it to the top, baby. On everything, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Indiana shit all day, baby. Shout Real shit. Midwest shit all day. Yeah. Shout Everyone I listen to it right now, West Coast, I listen to, to the uh, to the homeboy. Uh, I ain't going to say his name right now. Fuck that. Midwest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everybody who listens to it. It's another fantastic edition of Conceited Nobody. We started off late. We got trouble. Yeah. So we, we already, know, already know Corey got something to do. I know. Everybody trying to wrap this shit up all early and shit. <laughs> he said it all past the Thanks, committee. He said all those shit. Thank you. Shout out to everybody who tuned in week in, yeah, week out, man. Thank good. you for coming, man. No doubt. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. We're going to have to get you. I'm going to get you on here because we got a lot to talk about. I'm coming back. Yeah, man. we definitely oh, got a lot to talk about know, outside of music. You know we got a lot to talk about outside of music. You told me when you finished with your album, you're going to get into some reading and yeah. shit. We're going to have our discussions. Yeah. Don't forget that shit. Nah, we good. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nah,
something shit. about it though. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I might not answer uh, everything. Thank you for listening to this, Mr. Yeah. Corey G. Fresh, <laughs> aka the Popular Stranger, aka the Outgoing Introvert. Another fantastic show. Thank Pat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit was dope. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I thank the host of the show, you know, for inviting me on. I always going to thank him every week. Just appreciate it. Great team, you know. That's all I got. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Hell yeah, the big homie Teflon. Next Just, week, we have Beyonce come on here to talk about her breakup with Jay-Z and how she's been pining <laughs> to be my whore. Yeah. I'll call bitches hoes. we see y'all next week. <laughs> Somebody.